I have a very good story to tell you. It happened today. And it made me think of how things that happen in the daytime can really turn out to be profound. So, here's what happened. Um, I had a feeling to go get my purse fixed. Here's my purse. I've had this purse for 15 or 16 years. I get a lot of compliments on it. I bought it in England. I didn't really know what I was spending until I got home and added up the euros. Anyway, it's very well made. So what happened today was I took it to a leather repair person. Now I've taken it in to one other place in the center of Silicon Valley and they wanted to fix it for $150. Now that seemed like a lot of money to me so I thought, I don't think so. So I took it to him. He took it from me, went back into his studio, pounded, smoothed, moved things around for about 10 minutes. <laughs> and then he came back and it was fixed and explained to me what went wrong. And I said, you know, this is the difference between a master and a beginner right here. I said, I have taken this to other places and they want to charge me so much money to fix it. He goes, he very humbly said, I know what I'm doing. That's for sure. I'm giving him a five star review on Google and he didn't charge me. He wouldn't let me pay him. So to me, that is very profound because he didn't have to do that. Now that's real caring. That's what a master does. They know how to fix something. They know it's going to take a few minutes. And instead of making up a whole story about it being $150, he said, I'll catch you next time. Because you can only do this once, what he did. Then next time he's going to have to sew some teeth down <laughs> in the zipper. And he said, um, I said, so what that, what's that going to cost? $15 or $20. So see, things like that can happen and make you go. See, Suzuki Roshi, here's what he said, the founder of Zen Buddhism, the first Zen Buddhist monastery in North America, which I visited several times in Tassajara. He's buried there. He said, in the beginner's mind, there's many options, but in the expert's mind, there's only a few. See, so let that sink in. To me, that says when you're truly aligned and you know where you're going, you don't make all these other options happen. You don't worry that, oh, you might be missing something else, like a lot of people do, um, until getting aligned with your special gifts, what you're here to give to people and monetize so you can continue to live on this in this dimension before we pass on to the next one. So, tell me what amazing miracles happened to you that just occurred in the middle of your day. That gives me a lot of hope for new possibilities. I'll see you in the next video.